Hi everyone, my name is Kelechi Uzoma. I'm a Senior Product Manager with Think on Inc. And um, welcome to our first series of uh, video series with VMware. My, um, joining me here is Ray Gonzalez from VMware. Ray, you want to introduce yourself? To yeah, sure. It's uh, Ray Gonzalez. I'm a uh, Cloud Sales Manager with uh, VMware. Uh, and happy to be joining you, Klichi. Um ThinkOn has been just a fantastic partner over, over many years. And uh, I think what the work that you guys are doing to help enable customers to move to the cloud is tremendous. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll just say that uh, ThinkOn is one of the very few, uh, count on one hand, uh, partners in Canada that carry the uh, verified by VMware badge based on, on, on the work you're doing with us. So. Happy to be here. Happy to have this discussion uh, with you today. Awesome. Um, moving on real quick. In addition to what we what we have on the slide here, which is partly what we have to discuss today, I just want to quickly acknowledge that we are living through a difficult time right now, and I just want to say our thoughts and our prayers are with you and your loved ones. Yeah, you know, I just to add to that, you know, Kalichi, it's unprecedented uh, what's going on right now with the pandemic and um, the disruption to normal day lives. I, I never thought I'd experience something like this. Never in, in my, my experience has anything like this happened or anyone's, I think. Um, and just, you know, it, it, I, I think, you know, we all need to do our part and, and stay home and, and stay safe. And we can, right. we can end this curve. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I think um, a lot of organizations are, are kind of struggling with how do they continue their operations and, and keep their employees employed and, and keep the revenue flowing. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. And um, just to add to that, it's, it's one thing to work from home once or twice a week from your couch in front of your own TV. And it's another thing to work from home one to three months at a stretch. It's almost a permanent work style. It's no longer business as usual. And um, from uh, an enterprise perspective, a lot of companies are beginning to support the flexible work styles. And it's beginning to increase drastically as we move on day by day due to the pandemic. Um, this is nothing new for organizations like VMware, where we understand it's, it's been a norm for VMware, who are the prime consumers of remote work technologies and access yeah. to all data, apps, and um, secure content 247 around the world. Yeah, you know, I've been working primarily from home for the last 10 years and leveraging a lot of the technology that VMware sells as well. So, you know, some folks call it eating your own dog food. I prefer it to drinking, drinking our own champagne. Uh, <laughs> sounds a little bit better. I, I don't know what. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'd say that you're right. You know, it takes some getting used to it and the systems, the technology, in the back end, it's very important to, to have it there. So, uh, Kalichi, you know, what does ThinkOn have to kind of support that shift? You know, what, what, why are you guys built for this? Well, um, from, uh, from a top-down perspective, uh, there are three building blocks for ThinkOn, really. It's uh, data, innovation, and enablement. We ensure that our infrastructure is continuously evolving it's engaging and empowering. We also set to support all partners and customers remotely from anywhere across the world with solutions that ensure fast procurement and provisioning. Right on, so you're kind of built for these times then, right? You're all ready to set to go. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Vidi. What's Vidi? <laughs> Vidi. What? sounds like a chime. It's, act, it's actually an acronym, VDI, which is an acronym for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. It's just, it's simply a technology that allows a connection to a virtual desktop somewhere in the cloud, as people will say it, but a secure environment. And what, we, what happens is the VDI hosts desktop environments on a centralized server and deploys them to end users on request on any device of their choosing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was just joking, of course. And, and the way I, I try to explain it, you think about it, is that um, in a virtual desktop environment, you know, what happens is actually the, the, the desktop and, and the machine is running in a data center in the cloud, like on, on think on infrastructure out there, right. right? So that could be a Windows machine, that could be a, a Unix machine. Um, and then 
you're connecting to that machine remotely through a client, a client device. And that client device could be a Chromebook. It could be another Windows machine, mm -hmm. it could be an iPad. It's pretty cool when you see a Windows machine running, looks like it's running on an iPad, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So and it could be a phone, right? It could be an Android phone. In fact, I've seen that as well. It's a tiny desktop, but, but you could do that as well. Um, but so but when you do that, right, that means that all the data never leaves the data center, right? So it's completely yes. secure. Um, and the only thing that's moving across are the screen images. Mm -hmm. And then from the client, it's just, you know, the keystrokes and the mouse movements in terms of what you're pointing and clicking on. Absolutely. So the experience is really good for the user, right? Because they get a full-fledged desktop. Yeah. Um, and then it, it, it's really secure for, for the organization as well at the same time. So, you know, if you think of the flexibility and the experience that it gives users, it's like you can be sitting in your home office accessing your work desktop that's living in that cloud mm -hmm. you know, from that, that machine in your office, or you could be sitting at the kitchen table on a tablet helping your, your kid with their, their remote working, you know, learning from home. Um, you know, while you're accessing that as well. And the experience is the same across there. So, um, so let's kind of talk about why ThinkOn's a good place to, to help with VDI. Um, and maybe we'll just kind of break this down a little bit and, and, and kind of run through the different um, topics here. So uh, dedicated infrastructure, what do you mean by that? Uh, well, just to bring us up to this point, I just want to let everybody here know that uh, with ThinkOn, we provide two Tonki services. Now, one is the virtual desktop, and the other, which is where we provide all the backend management and infrastructure. And this is available on our multi, what we like to call our multi-tenant, which is simply a shared environment, and our dedicated environment, which is an isolated environment, and is strictly catered to one subscriber or one user. And that's what you have there as a dedicated infrastructure. Right, so you're not sharing gear with your potentially another client of ThinkOns that could be a competitor of yours. Right. right. Completely isolated, completely dedicated to you as and your instance. Right. Okay. And, and the other model provides the infrastructure and the software that allows partners and subscribers to deploy an architecture and maintain existing skill sets and investments. Right on. Okay. Um, and then fully managed, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, we, we understand the, di the difficulty, how difficult it can be for people to manage some of these new technologies or uh, upgrades or licensing and things like that. So what we do on the back end is totally manage everything for you in ThinkOn. We, we manage the infrastructure, we help you stand up the environment, and we just allow you roll with your um, experience. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you just you just provision desktops. That's all you need to do yeah. for your end users around that. You guys take care of setting all like the different complex. You worry about the complexity in the back end of, of building out the VDI environment for them. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And then um, EYOL, right? Uh, what's that mean? Well, we we allow subscribers, partners, tenants to bring their own licenses and even bring their own devices. And um, as long as this is um, uh, this aligns with the requirements for your VDI, you're allowed to bring your own licenses and that way you don't get, you don't get stuck up with trying to get new contracts or trying to get, to bug yourself around where to get new licenses for a new technology. So if your ISV allows it, you can use those existing licenses in this VDI environment. Absolutely. Okay, cool. And then uh, endpoint security. So you're selling uh, virus protection for devices? Um, I wouldn't call it a virus protection. What, what we, in, in think on what we have come to understand is in a, in a VDI environment, data leaves on the server rather than on the end client's device. So this serves to protect the data if a device is ever stolen or compromised. You know, lost, stolen, or broken devices and inconvenience but users will always find their data right away where they left it when they sign in from another device. Right. So everything's living in the data center. Oh, yeah. As I mentioned before, it's just keystrokes and images that are moving across. So there's no need for that anything on the end client device um, 
it, it's inherently protective. Yes. Right on, right on. And you know, I've been to um, uh, Think on data centers and you got a, a lot of boxes with a lot of flashy blinky lights in there. And, and um, I, I'm guessing, you know, that's how you can accommodate the scalability. It's that you have capacity that's available for customers as, as their needs grow. Yeah, like you said, those flashing lights, uh, a bunch of uh, equipments, gadgets, technologies, any, anything you want to call it. But these are all resources that we in ThinkOn help use to meet your scalability needs. And um, we ensure that this, um, whatever you need is available as you continue to grow, or as you continue to need more um, expansion in your business. Right. And, and, and um that's how you can guarantee the performance because you have those resources available. You have the skill sets to manage this stuff. Um, you have the dedicated infrastructure um, and you know the security that's inherent in there. Um, absolutely. So you, can, so you can provide some SLAs to the customers. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Right on. Okay. So this all sounds pretty good. Um, uh, I wanted to, to kind of share, this is just like a bit of a placeholder. Uh, and this is a specific story about how we're helping um, Tyler Independent School District out there. Uh, but during this time, a lot of school boards uh, have turned to us and said, you know, we've got thousands of kids that need, we need to enable uh, learning from home, remote learning for them, um, and are leveraging VDI with cloud providers to go off and quickly stand up an environment and deploy um, their desktop. Right? So not having to worry, as I said before, about having kids and parents try to install software and, and uh, troubleshoot and imagine what the help desk would look like for that. Um, so by leveraging a VDI implementation with a cloud provider, they're quickly able to enable thousands and thousands of students to continue learning so they won't lose their school year. And um, you know, some of the applications are, are pretty complex. I mean, you get um, high school courses that do CAD uh, computer aided design and things like that. So, and have like beefy, need beefy workstations. There's no way a regular desktop at someone's home would be able to support that. But by leveraging compute power and data centers, they're able to allow kids to continue that coursework with those highly compute intensive complex applications. Um, so, so it's a great story. I, I, I think it's a great use case um, where VMware is, is, in, is helping um, in, in this pandemic and these times of pandemic with that learning from home uh, with, with a lot of school boards. And, and it's great to see, um, you know, tech for good in, in a time like this as well. And again, partners like ThinkOn can, can, can help with, with um, applications, use cases like that as well. Um, so, so as we kind of close out here, uh, Kalichi, uh, someone wants to learn more, what do they do now? Well, um, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is to reach out to any of our ThinkOn representatives to help you, to help us understand and consult and try to, get that holistic picture of what your business needs are and come up with the right solutions that meet those needs. i will also like to um, let you know that we have certified, trained, and dedicated VMware staff to provide all levels of support. Awesome. Well, listen, thanks so much for having me join you today. Um, look forward to maybe coming back again another time and, and look forward to what else you guys come up with. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for joining us, Ray. And uh, thanks to our listeners. And hopefully they will join with the second, next episode in the series. Thanks, everybody.